Hi everyone, I'm sitting in my driveway trying to get acclimated. Oh my God, um, as you all know, I've been sniffing a lot and I've been coughing a lot and um, it's been like this for the last, I guess, eight days. And when I was on the airplane, I told my travel companions that I would wear my mask the whole time and I'm glad I did because I just got a call from her and she tested positive for MRSA and um, I woke up this morning and I'm supposed to be putting together a lawnmower and mowing my grass I need to buy a weed whacker today and I was very slow getting up and I've been getting up like early for the last month and this morning I was just dragging and so I'm on my way to to the doctors to get tested and um, I do keep augmenting but I found out that if I have MRSA pneumonia augmenting doesn't do anything so it's important that I go to the doctor so cross your fingers everybody my neighbors are gonna help hate me but I can't help it all right your health comes first so goodbye well I went to a, a, a war, what is it called a walk-in clinic <clears throat> and uh, it was a very nice clinic a nice doctor he said from my symptoms he said I have bronchitis and he gave me something for coughing and uh, I think erythromycin uh, antibiotic so they electronically called it into my um, pharmacy and I've got one hell of a headache oh my god I didn't want to take a Tylenol in case they took my temperature because it may have you know disguised if I had a fever or something so um I'm gonna I'm at Home Depot, I gotta get a electric weed whacker because my yard is so small and I've got some outlets I could use. So I really feel lousy now. <laughs> oh my God, he said, if I had MRSA in my lungs, I would be in the hospital dying. He said, I wouldn't be out driving around. He said, you would be in the hospital on your deathbed. That's what he told me. Dr. Sutton. So, uh, I've got one hell of a to-do list. Oh my God. So, I, while I'm out, I might as well do this, people. Let me, um, let me write. My phone's almost dead. The thing of it is, you should always keep in your car the charger or the USB but when you go into a place of business you still need one for the wall and that's where because everything I have is still in suitcases you know so yeah that's why my phone's dead all right bye hi everyone I got a raging freaking headache I just spent $500 on my gardening tools I had to buy a spade a hoe Oh, some, something like a shovel to do edging. I bought a lot of plants. I bought termite killer since I'm living in a wooden house that's 122 years old. I better treat it for termites. Also, I got a smart patch. Um, and I got fertilizer. And I bought a $200 battery powered weed whacker. Now, I know what you're thinking. After I bought an electric scooter in Key West, let me tell you what, those things are powerful. And another person was buying it while I was there too. And they had the price marked wrong. So we did a screenshot of the proper price. So if something's marked wrong in the store, uh, you can definitely get the manager or whoever's ringing you up to adjust that price. And, uh, I'm on my way to get my medicine and I'm kind of to get two Tylenol. So I bought squash, tomato plants, cilantro, cucumbers, um, 
little cherry tomatoes. I bought blueberry plants. I bought gloves, seven dust. My father always uh, swore by 10, 10, 10. But if you don't do it right, you can burn your plants. So I've got to get this out of this hot car because let me tell you what, if you leave your car, if you leave your phone charging, the heat will make your phone not work for a while. So if you're charging your phone, don't put it, uh, charge it like, uh, put it in a cool place like down on the floor or because it, it wouldn't work for a couple minutes because we're so hot. So now I'm going to go get my medicine get me something to eat and go home and put my plants in a cool place. There's no use vacuuming or there's no use washing my car with all this pollen. It's that time of year you just wait. Uh, oh my god. I just ran over a curb. I can't see curbs. I just can't because they're so low to the ground and if you don't know your terrain, yeah, you can, uh, yeah, I used to run over curbs all the time in my Mustang because it was so low to the ground. So this guy's laughing his ass off at me, but he helps me. Head northwest toward Creekside Drive.